Guys, how are you? Out in Revolution Land, it is my last day of Basel Fair, but we've saved the best for the last. We're here at the Glass Church Original booth to see what miracles of watchmaking have been done over in the former East Germany. So, uh, perhaps the first watch we can talk about is a watch that compensates and tells time in 36 time zones, including half hour deviations as well. Um, it's a, tell us a little bit about this timepiece. And it also compensates for daylight savings time as well. Yes, both. Yeah, which we just had here at Basel. It was, it was a struggle for me to get up, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so it's called uh, Cosmopolit. Yes. And uh, yeah, as you said, it's a very interesting watch. Two times, two time zones. One is the hometown, one is the local time. One is the local time. Yes. Have a look at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful dial. On top here, the home time. Yes. The huge dial, the big dial. Local time. Uh, the local time. Ah, what's great is that the, the date follows the local time backwards exactly. or for, forwards or backwards. Backwards and forwards, yes. depending in which direction you are traveling. Yes. Precisely. If you go to the west, the time goes back yes. and perhaps it's overnight. Yes. So even the calendar goes back. Yeah, I've done that before. I, if you go from Singapore to New York, for example, you can go through the midnight threshold and you end up in the date that you were before. And if you have a perpetual calendar, it can suck because then you've got to change everything back, you know? So Absolutely. what's great about this watch, for example, is that you can just turn the crown backwards to the time and the date will follow you, which is great. And it has other features, for example, day and night, mm -hmm. day and night indication for the hometown, uh, for, the home for both, ah, for fantastic. both, uh, for the hometown is here a small dot mm -hmm. in the dial and here a separate dial uh, for the local time, day and night. Fantastic. So cool watch. It's a real, well, you know, supercomputer well, on the wrist. Absolutely. Yeah. You need that because if you want to adjust the calendar, you need to know is it now day, uh, day or, or night. night. Yes, absolutely. Do you travel a lot? I do. Yeah, I do. Me too. I did. I did six hundred thousand miles last year. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm quite tired. <laughs> but but, yeah. but uh, so this would be a perfect watch for me. Okay, let's talk about the 60s collection because I think that this is one of the most um, exciting watches of the fair, and the, the dial, the green dial, is amazing. I absolutely Thank you. Love it. It's absolutely stunning. We've got these, these 60s watches with these beautiful green dials. Mm -hmm. One with a big date and one so I love this. I love the size of this. 39 mm, correct? Yes. Absolutely stunning. Tell me a little bit about it because you have your own dial manufacturer. Yes. And the 60s is, uh, is not a trend what we are now uh, following. Yes. Uh, the 60s collections we have since over 20 years. Yes. By the way, we have as well a 70s collection. And now what we want to create is something like an annual edition. Very nice. So this uh, will only be offered for one year, is that right? This will always be or only be produced for one year. Yes. So and That's beginning fantastic. beginning from first of January two thousand nineteen, we will produce a new color. The only thing that I think these watches need is a nickname. I mean what is green that you, you like? Like Kermit the Frog. I heard that? some proposals from some friends of us from the US. What, what did they say? Yeah, Cadillac Green. Cadillac. Actually, it is Cadillac Green because I remember because my 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 dad had a Cadillac when we lived in yeah. America. But this is just this is just not confirmed. Okay, yes. good. We have to see with Cadillac if they would agree there. <laughs> it's also kind of emerald colored, right? Yes. Fantastic. Uh, I absolutely. You got to come check it out. And then in addition to that, if you flip the watch around, you see this. Important thing for you guys to understand, um, in East Germany, they were not affected by the quartz crisis that Switzerland was affected by because the culture of mechanical watchmaking had continued. And during, for the Eastern Bloc countries, they continued to make mechanical watches. When the wall came down uh, and the reunification happened, Eastern Germany, Glashütte in particular, remained this incredible hotbed for high watchmaking. And it gave them almost a great advantage to be able to come, come back into the industry and make these beautiful movements. Now, if you look at this, you're gonna see Decorated here, these are not Geneva stripes, right? No. They are called Glashütte. Glashütte stripes. Yes, exactly. Yes. Important, important for you to know. Or and you can say even Glashütte original stripes. Glashütte original stripes. Okay, that and is more correct. Later, when you guys take a close up of the watch, the thing that you got that makes these watches so beautiful is also the stunning swan neck regulator. Right? Absolutely. Would you say that's one of the hallmarks. Yeah, that's exactly. one of the hallmarks. And the three quarter plate. And the three of quarter course, plate. Of course. That is the most obvious sign of, of uh, our construction principles. Fantastic. Important. So guys, there you have it. Here at Glashütte Original. Nice chronograph, beautiful multi-time zone watch, and Colombian green, baby. Look at that. That's the watch to have. Come down here. How much is it? 6,000. For you 6, guys, euros, for euros. anyone here who comes today and wants to buy it, 
6,500. No, I'm just <laughs> joking. 6,000. 6,000 euros, okay? 6,000 6, euros. Okay. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a great watch. Thank you. That was a wonderful watch.